The following experiment is probably one of the most influential and most popular experiments in psychology. It is the so-called Milgram experiment conducted by Stanley Milgram. And just imagine you are a participant in this study and you agree to participate in an experiment and you are told right in the beginning, okay, you will conduct this experiment with a partner. And then you are introduced to a nice, a little bit overweight guy at the age of 47 and you are told, well, you too will participate in a learning experiment and it's all about learning word pairs. So, for example, uh, one of you, fortune will decide who, one of you will have to learn um, these word pairs, for example, nice and day or blue and box. And the goal of the experiment is to see whether somebody learns faster if he gets electroshocks. So one of you will be the teacher who gives the electroshocks and the other one will be the learner who has to learn the word pairs and who will receive the electroshocks. So the coin decides and you are really lucky, the coin decides that you won't get the electroshocks. Whew, you are really lucky because you are also shown the room where the other guy will be attached to a chair where he can't move and uh, attached to electrodes which will give him the electroshocks and to show you how strong the shocks are you get a shock of 45 volts and you realize oof shit this really hurts already and the scale goes from 15 to 60 volts which is regarded as low voltage to the end of 440 50. volts for which there is written just three axes which means well this might be extremely heavy and uh, maybe even lethal so you are the lucky one you go into another room and then you begin with learning you give the other guy the words and unfortunately he doesn't know really much and um, you have to rise the electroshocks um, more and more and um, after a while you hear from the other room through the wall that he is really suffering that he is screaming yeah ah, it hurts it hurts so much and at the voltage of 150 he even says ah stop it experimenter stop it um, uh, I begin to feel my heart and, and obviously has heart problems and now you get really uh, scared uh, you get you get the impression something's going really wrong here and you turn to the experimenter and you say um, sorry uh, what's going on uh, come on but the experimenter is ice cold and he only says you have to proceed he doesn't say anything else and if you ask again he just says the experiment affords that you proceed. So he is ice cold and it's all up to you if you proceed or not. And now you can question yourself, would you do that? And if you ask people, do people go to the end voltage of 450 volts where just three axes, um, almost everybody says, no, nobody does that. The really strange thing is, about 62% did it and there were several experiments Stanley Milgram all in all conducted over 20 experiments with some variations and all in all at the end he had about 1000 participants and it again and again turned out that really many people give the last voltage of 440 volts just because there is an experimenter in the room who says you have to proceed. So there's just the authority who says you should go on and many people follow the lead of the authority. Now you might say, okay, that's, that's been uh, about 50 years ago, something like this wouldn't happen again. But actually there are some replications which, uh, of course, you can't conduct the experiment exactly the way it's been done in those years because of moral reasons, obviously. 
but there are some replications which suggest that even today people would act similarly and there is a really disturbing case which happened in the US and it's the case of Louise Ockburn who worked for McDonald's and because one day in the place where Louise was working a so-called officer Scott called and he told the manager of this McDonald's Miss Summers he told her well we are out of capacity so we can't send somebody but we have strong evidence that somebody of your service is stealing money and um, I already talked to some of your bosses and um, we will try to uh, catch her while I'm on the phone <laughs> so really strange yeah but uh, Miss Summers thought this is a real thing she thought this is an officer so the officer told her well we are looking for a white woman quite young and black hair and after some thinking Miss Summers thought well this can only be Louise and so she went to Louise told her to come with her to a separate room a really small room and if you want to watch it you can watch it on YouTube there is actually um, footage of a security camera in this room and she told her well where is the money give me the money and uh, the officer said yeah you have to uh, check her everywhere on her body the money could be but she didn't find something so and she was really busy therefore she told her partner that he should take a look at her and her partner while Miss Summers left the room her partner now spoke to the um, officer Scott and then it got really creepy because uh, officer Scott told this guy well you have to check her really hard so you have to make make her spread her vagina so really crazy stuff and she and Louise uh, who was really feared to death um, really did that and the next step was uh, that the, the officer said well you have to make her sit on your knees and um, later on he even said okay now go on and have oral sex she has to have oral sex with you so really crazy stuff is going on and this guy maybe he had a disposition in his personality so he enjoyed doing that and later on he got sued for that shit but it all really happened and um, it only got solved when uh, Miss Summers, the, the boss, got another service person who took a look at the whole situation and said, well, what shit is going on here? And then Miss Summers began to realize, oh, yeah, there's really a lot of shit going on. And then she called the real police, which came after just five minutes. Five minutes it took the police to get there. And this guy, uh, this officer Scott, in fact, they later on had one suspect which they thought maybe it was him, but they had to let him go because they did not have enough evidence. So even today, the pressure of authority can be really strong and even today people do really things they should not do. And therefore the uh, the Milgram experiment is still up to date and we should always question and we should not turn put off our brain or put it, it on autopilot just because somebody is wearing a uniform or just because it tells you I'm a scientist or I'm a government official or whatever just because somebody tells you that he has authority or, or just wants you to believe that he has authority doesn't mean that you have to do everything he says. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode and if you want, we will see you next time.